Armenian Revolutionary Parties. This is one of my favorite, and I'll tell you why. Because there were three, four major Armenian Revolutionary Parties, and they were all disasters. When you read, the, when you read about this, and it actually tells you to go to the appendix because it's that long. There are stories about the Hunchags, the Ramgavars, and the Dashnags. And the Dashnags, by the way, were the best of, of the three in those early days. And the Hunchags, they were extorting money from rich Armenians. They even burned down a high-rise building in New York. In those days, a high-rise was seven stories, eight stories. But nonetheless, they actually were trying to extort hundreds of thousands of dollars from a rug merchant, and they burned down the building because he wouldn't pay. And the whole building goes up in flames. The news article is in there. In the, in the appendix. Uh, they had, they were discovered that they were, they had, they were doing terrorism. They were, again, they were extorting money from rich Armenians and rich Armenians sometimes would give and sometimes they would resist. So these rich Armenians were being terrorized. Well, finally they had what they call a dragnet. And a dragnet is when the police get out there and they just start going from a bunch of places at once. And in an Armenian restaurant in the basement in New York City, they found daggers and knives and bombs, and they found a poison that said if it had been mixed and released in New York City, it would have killed a million people. Okay? That's the disaster that, that the revolutionary parties, they even tried to, one of them tried to kill the sultan in 1910, 1911, around that time. And they blew up a bomb in a mosque. And the sultan had just left, so he was free, but 40 people died. So the revolutionaries were up to these types of things. And again, it was because the Armenians had wanted independence. And the revolutionaries were a very small part of the Armenian population. In fact, most of the Armenian population wanted nothing to do with these revolutionaries because they understood that you know when you stick a snake with a, a stick and it finally gets past you, it's going to bite you and it's going to be really bad. So that's the revolutionary disaster, as I call it.